Today we'll be making Malaysian fried bihun siam. You may want to pause here for the ingredients and the preparation methods. Today we'll be making a local Malaysian specialty called mi siam or uh, today we are actually using mi hun. So it's mi hun siam which is basically a traditional Malaysian fried noodles, uh, spicy fried noodles. Now um, today we are using uh, rice vermicelli which I have taken a bunch and soaked into water. So once you have uh, left it in water for about an hour, it becomes a bit softer like this. Now um, to, to make mi siam or mi hun siam, we will need a spice mixture which we will need uh, two small uh, or medium sized onions, two cloves of garlic, quarter cup of dried shrimp which we have soaked, five to six dried red chilies. Now the spice uh, that uh, we have here we will grind into a paste and fry in vegetable oil we'll need five or six pieces of uh, dried uh, tofu we'll need one egg and um, for the vegetables we will have uh, today a cup of uh, bean sprouts now for uh, these noodles uh, which is uh, mihun siam we uh, we can actually use different types of vegetables but Today I'm using bean sprouts. Now and of course we need salt and pepper to taste and some vegetable oil. Now once we have fried the noodles, we will garnish it with some cucumber, tomato and some lime. So the lime gives it a sourish flavor. So what we'll do right now is we'll chop up the onions and the garlic and uh, put these four items, the chili, the uh, dried shrimp, onions and garlic into the food processor, blend it and then we'll fry the spice mixture. So uh, let's get on with that. So I've got my blender ready. Uh, we will put in the dried chilies and the level of spice uh, you can adjust the chili according to how spicy you want it. The garlic, the onions which I have cut up. and the dried shrimp. Now we'll add some water to help with the grinding. We'll add some water to help with the grinding process. And we'll bring this to the blender. So our spice mixture has been blended, so that's good. Now I am going to prepare the rest and we'll come back. So I've prepared the wok, we will heat up the wok. First we need to fry the egg. So once the wok is a little bit hot, I'm going to add in about a tablespoon of uh, vegetable oil. That's basically just to fry the egg. Alright, so we will just coat the pan with uh, the oil. So I've taken the egg and beaten it up with a pinch of salt. And what we'll do is we will fry the egg into a thin layer which we actually will be using for garnishing. So once the egg is uh, cooked and fried um, to a little bit brown, we will want to cut this thing up into small strips and uh, I'm just going to use the spatula to do it. Yeah. 
and we'll set this aside. Okay, now we want to fry the tofu. I'm going to turn up the heat again. Add some oil for a tablespoon. So I've uh, cut up the tofu to small bite-sized pieces. I'm just going to add this in. Right, so once this is um, almost brown and still a bit soft, okay, we'll take this out and leave this aside. Now we are going to fry our spice mixture. I'm going to turn up the heat. Add about a table, two tablespoons of oil. That's about it. And I'll put in the spice mixture. So we'll fry the spice mixture until the oil separates from the spices and this might take uh, two to three minutes depending on um, how strong the fire is so after about two three minutes of frying you can see the color of the spice mixture is becoming darker I'm gonna just slightly season this with a bit of salt maybe a teaspoon or so or so and continue frying until the oil separates from the spice mixture maybe another two to three minutes and we'll come back to this after a few more minutes of frying you can see like the spice mixture is now forming like a ball which means the oil is beginning to separate from the spice mixture now what I want to do right now is to take out maybe two tablespoons full of the spice mixture or the chili mixture to be used as a sauce for the noodles later so maybe about two tablespoons and just leave it to the side and now we will add back the fried tofu pieces uh, we'll leave the egg separate we'll put back the fried tofu pieces Just give it a stir. And we'll add like half a cup of water to it. We will bring this to a slight simmer and now we will add in our rice from the chili. So now we will mix the spice mixture with the vermicelli as much as best as we can we basically want to coat the noodles with the spice mixture now we'll add in just a splash of water to help to cook the noodles now when the noodles is wet like this it's a good time to season it so we're going to add some salt
and some black pepper just tiny bit and we'll continue stirring this for about 30 seconds so after about 30 seconds it's time to add our bean sprouts we want to drain this thing very well just going to drain this again and we'll just add it and toss the noodles with the bean sprouts now bean sprouts will take just no time to cook so we don't want to make it too soft So after about a minute, a minute of frying, we can turn off the flame now and there will be residual heat to cook the bean sprouts. Alright, so our mi siam or mi hun siam is ready. Okay, now we will plate up and we'll come back. So now it's time to plate up. What I'll do is I will put a small serving of noodles onto our plate It'd be nice to have some uh, green chives or some spring onions as well uh, I do not have that today we will basically sprinkle on some of our fried egg like this just a tiny bit will do and we have some uh, fried shallots just gonna put some fried shallots on top like this we'll add a wedge of lime a wedge of tomato and basically some cucumber and a serving of the spice mixture that we have fried just now so to eat this you basically give a squeeze of lime on the top And we'll have it with the condiments. So this is Mihun Siam, a very special and popular dish in Malaysia.